Bonjour, hey guys, Gilles Rioux here from Top Snow Travel. This week I'm in Courchevel, part of the largest ski area in the world, the Three Valley. Courchevel has five main villages. Uh, Courchevel Le Pra, which is just behind me. And we have Courchevel uh, Village, Courchevel Morion, Courchevel, which is Courchevel 1850, as well as Courchevel Latania. The sun is just rising. Let's go and check out Courchevel Le Pra first, and I'll see you in the next village after. Make sure you subscribe to see the latest videos, reviews and tips of the best of the French Alps. Having a quick walk through Courche Le Pra in the little back streets. Look pretty cute. Hey guys, I'm now in La Tania, Courchevel La Tania. So as you can see, there's a big contrast. So you have some old buildings that are not very good looking, pretty ugly, I must admit. And then you have beautiful stunning chalets on the other side. So a bit of a mix for La Tania. It's very small. It's uh, pretty much all ski and ski out for the apartments and residences over there. 
and then the chalets it just depends where you're situated i guess uh some of them are a bit of a walk to get to some of them are skin skier but uh there's a good mix and they're building uh every year some new chalets so it's definitely on the up um but the tanya is quite small it's really good for families and people that are on a budget if they're getting the apartments otherwise you can get some really nice chalets and the great thing about La Tanya as well is um, there's a lot of um, tree skiing so you're nice in the forest so you're away from the bad weather conditions when it's a blizzard or um, cloudy but uh, today no problems with that it's uh, nice and sunny blue sky perfect day so we'll have a closer look Even the gondolas look quite old and run down. Probably need a refresh. <laughs> I'm now in Courchevel village, 1550. Nothing exciting really about the, the village or the avenue, but you do have some amazing good value luxury chalets, like Chalet Macalou, Chalet Orblanc. They're really stunning and they're just down the road from here. Uh, but the avenue itself, Courchevel, 1550, nothing special, not that great, but still okay.
I'm now in Courchevel Morion, Courchevel 1650, just on the snow front. You have a few hotels that are quite nice, like the Hotel Fahrenheit and uh, Hotel Le Porteta. Le Porteta is probably the best four star hotel in uh, Courchevel Morion. You also have uh, Le Manali Lodge just over there, uh, which has beautiful uh, apartments, really nice residences with fireplace and so on. And they all have nice outdoor terraces and to eat, to have lunch in the sun. Uh, so this I think it's south facing, but uh, it gets lots of good sun um, at Courchevel Morion. So let's go and have a feed and see if the food's any good. After that, we'll catch the Ariandas gondola. Just had a really nice lunch at the Fahrenheit on the sunny terrace. Had a nice perky bowl, um, really good food. The good thing about the Courchevel Morion is you get plenty of sun. So well, Courchevel 1850s in the shade from probably about 1.30 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, especially in January. Um, Courchevel Morion is uh, nice and sunny, as you can see behind me. Still plenty of sun, and I think it's about 3.30, quarter to four. So really nice to get in the sun. Ah, so I just left Courchevel Morion, 1650. As you can see behind me, it's quite sunny still. And it's about 3.30, almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, at it's Courchevel, 18.50. It's all in the shade. But basically, if you want a nice lunch that's um, good value and not overpriced, come to Courchevel Morion in 16.50. You'll get a really nice sunny terrace all afternoon, even in January. Um, and there are plenty of them. There's the Le Manali, there's the Hotel Fahrenheit. And there's uh, Le Porteta, so they all have nice sunny terrace in Courche de Morion with really good food, uh, really decent price as well, and uh, just a nice uh, relaxing um, way to be in the sun, which you don't get unfortunately in Courche de 850 until about springtime, probably late February, March. So if you do like some sun, being in a sunny terrace, Courche de Morion is a good one to go to.
sun is rising. Just walked out of the um, uh, Lulana Hotel. Uh, skin ski out, as you can see, the ski room's just there. So let's go down into Courchevel and have a look. Gonna be making my way down to Courchevel Le Pas and checking out the little village there. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm at the top of the Ariandas Gondola, about to go on the extreme luge, well should I say the Moyon Racing Courchevel luge track, it's about three kilometers long. It starts from the top of Ariandas Gondola and goes all the way down to Courchevel 1650, um, Courchevel Moyon. Hopefully I don't crash and let's go have lots of fun.
Wow, just did the luge all the way down to Moyon. That was so much fun. Hope you liked it as well. Hopefully you get to experience it one day with a group of friends or family. The more you are, the better. So much fun, so good. Really recommend it. All dressed and ready to go and have dinner at the two Michelin star Mongamori restaurant. I'm going to have a little degustation menu. I'm sure it's going to be really nice. It's probably a bit pricey, but I think it's worth it. Let's go and have a look. Merci. Okay, de façon croustillante et par dessus une légère euh, couche donc, de donc ces décorations ça bien évidemment c'est ça exactement la dégustation ici ça c'est celle-là voilà celle-là ah, celle-là ok super <rire> merci donc ensuite vous continuez avec le cynorodon un petit fruit rouge relativement méconnu mais qui au final a beaucoup de saveur qui a été ici travaillé sous forme de mousse déposé sur un cracker de seigle et enfin surmonté de quelques gouttes de gel de fleur d'été Ensuite, nous continuons avec la promenade dans les bois où on va redécouvrir le champignon, plus spécialement le cèpe qui était travaillé ici avec la réglisse et également l'aubergine. Et ce qui est très intéressant avec celui-ci, c'est que vous allez avoir différents parfums, toujours avec le même ingrédient. Personnellement, c'est mon préféré. Okay. Ensuite, vous continuez avec la panésie, la fleur qui est sur le côté, comme toujours. Travaillé ici avec la carotte fine purée, quelques piquages de carotte également. Et donc, pour celui-ci, je vous inviterai à écraser un petit peu de berce entre vos doigts et à venir sentir, c'est un parfum qui est tout à fait remarquable. Et vous terminez du coup avec le pain soufflé de maïs, qui a été travaillé ici avec une polenta crémeuse à l'intérieur. Forum pour parfumer et vous allez avoir comme accompagnement le retour de chasse ici le chevreuil légèrement rôti encore rosé à l'intérieur pour avoir vraiment les meilleures saveurs et nous conduisons ici avec un jus de viande légèrement réduit à la betterave également merci je vous en prie. Je ici avec un lait de vacherin légèrement émulsionné pour avoir toute l'essence du coup du fromage à savourer. Parfait, merci. Ouais, oui. Super, merci. Merci. Wow, what an amazing night to spend the night at the K2 altitude. Uh, I'm on my way to go on the slopes in Courchevel today. Tonight I'll be staying at the K2 Palace. So check out the link in um, the description below to see the video for the K2 Palace, one of the best hotels in Courchevel and probably in France as well.
morning guys. We are in for a treat this morning. I'm gonna be trying out the hot air balloon. I'm currently at the Altiport in Courchevel. This is where they take off for the planes, helicopters, private jets. And uh, but we'll be doing hot air balloons. So never done this before. Um, we'll be, the sun will be rising very shortly in Courchevel and in the valley. So it's gonna be really amazing with beautiful scenery. It's a pretty nice day so far. Quite clear, blue sky. So when the sun comes out, it should be quite nice. Looking forward to it, see you soon. We're ready to roll. This thing is huge. I have to step back so far to get the whole hot air balloon in the frame. <laughs> <rire> ah c'est bizarre qu'on vole. Ah, c'est léger, c'est. Ah oui, c'est. On se sent pas bien. C'est tranquille. Bah bon. Non. Ah, J'ai bien fait de pas aller au resto hier. Ouais ouais c'est tout. Courchevel Artipo from the Hot Air and so good. It's so peaceful. It's so weird, you say, depending on the wind, you go up and down. It's so nice and quiet there.
Falling down just above the slopes, about to hit the forest and the trees. We're probably only about 10, 20 meters above the slopes. It'd be cool if there were some skiers down there. Ah ouais Juste en bas là. Attends, je vois. Ouais, si on a deux, attends. Oh yes. Attends, je les vois pas sur mes Ah, oh, C'est magnifique. Ça gueule. Oh yes. I think I can almost touch it. We're so close to the trees. Got a pine cone. Okay. Uh, and back up we go. <laughs> up and down, up and down. Making our way back down on the hot air balloon. Amazing experience. So good. Definitely worth doing. <laughs> Crash landing. Just landed, incredible experience, amazing, hot air balloon. 
in Courchevel, back at L'Altipo. Stunning experience. Definitely do it. It's worth it. Landing just by the slopes. Very smooth. Smooth ride. So good. Highly recommended. Hot air balloon. Really peaceful. So nice. Hey guys, Jiva Yuri from Top Snow Travel. Tonight I'm lucky enough to be staying at the K2 Palace. It's a palace rating, so over five star. It's one of the most luxurious um, hotel in Courchevel, uh, in the Three Valley, in the French Alps, and probably in France as well. So it's got beautiful uh, spa facilities, an amazing restaurant, uh, stunning view, um, great rooms, really nice chalets. I think all the chalets are booked, so I won't be able to see any of them, but. I'll be staying in uh, the privileged suite, which is quite big enough. So let's go and have a look and check out the K2 Palace in Courchevel. So I've just checked in at the K2 Palace in Courchevel 1850. Uh, it's a palace rating, so it's even higher than a five star. And so far it looks absolutely amazing. I'm um, staying in the prestige room, prestige suite, should I say. Um, very, very nice. Let's go and have a look and discover. So my luggage just got dropped off. Looks like a ski room almost, a little, bench there, plenty of storage, a little safe, amenities, laundry bag, before I get to the bedroom, here's the bathroom, so plenty of amenities, Oh wow, so this closes and you've got your nice bathrobes. So the same as the Cadel T2, which is another beautiful five star luxury hotel. If you want to have a look at that one, check out the link below in the description. Has uh, the same same amenities, so you have your dental set, your manicure set, your shaving set, cotton buds, makeup remover, and hair set. So you don't need to bring a toiletry bag when you come to the K2 Palace or the K2 Altitude. Love the bath, open bath and shower. So it's really open.
the branding is everywhere. Have a look at it. Big, it's very spacious. <laughs> you have a very big safe, big and secure. Even on the safe, they have their branding in Kedu. Wow, crazy. All the furniture is so nice. What's inside here? Wow, this is, opens up. Hmm. That's pretty cool. It's a complimentary coffee. coffee set. as well. You'd expect it's complimentary when you see the prices but some five stars still charge you 12-15 euros for a bottle of uh, water of Avion so it's not always to be expected. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, gift box. Flowers. Disinfectant. It's because of COVID. Pretty big screen. Wow, so very spacious, the prestige suite. Huge. Very big. Big king size bed. <laughs> and even the branding on the TV remote. <laughs> wow. And a large balcony. This room is extraordinary, wow. Absolutely amazing. The detail and everything, it's just stunning. Not too sure which one I prefer, but this is much bigger and better than the room I stayed at K2 altitude, but wow. This is huge and amazing, luxurious, but still has Lots of wood and it's nice and cozy as well at the same time. There we go. Highly recommend it. Stay at the K2 Palace if you can. It's uh, extraordinary. Really love it. Can't wait to see the hotel facilities, the pool, the restaurants, everything. Looking forward to that one. Before I forget, wow, I have to tell you the pillows and the mattress are so comfortable. They're really, really nice. It feels like you're on a cloud. You just sink in and wow. Can yeah, can't, no words for it. It's gonna be a really good night's sleep. Really happy. Top stuff.
the spa is amazing. You have everything you need, beautiful views, tranquil music. Wow, look at this. Got seats in the water to relax and look at the view outside. Oh, the beautiful sunny day in Courchevel. Now to hot tub, let's see. Mm, nice and warm. Wow. Let's check out the view. From the chalets nearby. Wow, look at this. With the sun rising, beautiful lights. You can see Courchevel Morion, Courchevel 1650 over there. It gives you an idea of the location where we are. Stunning spa, really beautiful. Let's go and check out the outdoor hot tub, see how warm it is. Woo. It's so fresh and soy. Oh yes, this is good. Oh, this is nice. Oh, perfect temperature. Really hot, but not too hot. So good. Really happy. <laughs> ah, really nice spa. Let's check out the other facilities. Ah, there's the sauna that I missed before. One of the kids' zones. Some old school arcade games. <coughs> Excuse me, pool table. Oh, look at that for the little ones. So nice. So cool. Nice and spongy, comfortable. Ah, looks like there's some out of here too. <laughs> Go up and down the slide. Cool. Ah, there's a cinema room. Amazing, so nice.
a little bath if you want to entertain. Oh, no. <clears throat> that's a big bottle of vodka. Wow. Six liters. So they also have a smoke, smoking room where you can have cigars and shisha, which is quite popular with the Middle East and other people. Well, surprisingly, it doesn't smell. Or exit as well if you like. Buffet is incredible. So much variety. Taking a bit of a brunch here, so I've got a bit of a eggplant caviar with lemon and olive oil, a bit of avocado with um, lemon, I think, and same with the tomato with balsamic and cucumber. Goat's cheese, I think, with some type of walnut and honey. And uh, fresh fruit, fresh juice, freshly baked bread, and some green tea. Really good buffet breakfast. Excellent. That's everything you need. Very impressed. Time to eat.
and then <clears throat> access to the slopes. Sun is shining, another stunning day. It's just beautiful at the moment. Sunny every day. It's a little walk, 50 meters. If you're walking, but it goes down a little bit down here, so you can ski out quite easily. So definitely skin ski out. And there's also another slope that leads to the entrance of the hotel. So the slope is called Cospilot. That's the slope where you arrive from. There we are. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.